And I've got one more thing to put in that I don't think I've ever shown on this channel. Hello, and welcome back to Minivan Camper Gal. My name is Kelly, and I no longer camp in a minivan. <laughs> Today I am getting ready to go on a trip. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, and I thought I'd take you along and show you what I'm packing and how I am going to prepare for this, oh, maybe five day trip. All right, so first off, let me show you what's going on here. Um, it's a total disaster in here. So I have some work to do. All right, step one, let me take everything out that is not camping related. <laughs> All right, before I go any further, I have one fix that I definitely wanna do, and that is this bed board here. I originally cut it much longer than my bed frame because I thought it would be nice to have this extra um, shelf here, but actually I think it's gonna be nicer to have this extra space here as a step so that I can step in, I can hang my feet over when I'm sitting on the bed. So actually I'm gonna cut this down to match the length of all the other bed panels. All right, I did it. <laughs> I can cut on the table saw, it's not my favorite, but voila, a smaller board. Hopefully that's the right decision. Okay, let's see how it fits now. So these straps are what holds it to the frame. And they work pretty well. They kind of work as a little hinge. Yeah, that works pretty well. And since we're here, I'll show you. Uh, yes, this is my toilet in here. It moves up like this. Ta-da! And you put a bag inside. And I also have these little, um, these are like horse bedding pellets. And they make everything solid. And then I use a smell-proof bag. These things are magic, people. They work great. Then drive to your nearest garbage can. Okay. There we go. Now I have a little step here and that will be much better. All right, curtains. You are definitely going. Apron from Santa Fe trip? Uh, no. <laughs> Sunshade, yes. Am I gonna take my, yeah, I need to take my keyboard. All right, so if you're curious as to why I always bring my keyboard, I'll spill the beans. I do several things with my keyboard, but mainly I teach piano lessons. And I have these wonderful students that I love so much. I've taught them for many years and they put up with me traveling around and teaching piano remotely. <laughs> so I teach remote piano lessons and I also work as a composer. So I write music. I don't write music when I'm traveling that much, but I have ideas that I might. Blanket, you're gonna go, but can you get out of the way? This is an electric blanket and it was so nice on my last trip. Early mornings, just turn it on and so snugly warm. Okay, wool blanket. Yes, you're going. Chair. Yes, you're going. So underneath here I have Starlink and a tool kit. All right, so my bedding net is a little bloated here and I have to make a crucial decision. Am I going to take my sleeping bag. I took it to Santa Fe and I didn't use it at all. The electric blanket was plenty warm, but where I'm going is gonna be like below freezing in the morning. I wonder if I can stuff it underneath maybe. Just so that I have it, just in case. I don't think I'll need it. Okay, there is a tiny 
space in here. I'll show you. So here's my tool case that I told you about. It's also strapped to the um, frame with my little Velcro straps that I love so much. And I think this will fit in here. I hate stuffing it down so much because it's a down comforter. When you smush it up, it breaks the feathers, but we need space in here. Okay, I think that's gonna work. <laughs> I will have it, but it's not gonna take up a ton of room. I have this bungee cord here to kind of hold everything up to the wall, but I'm a little scared it's gonna like snap and kill me in my sleep because <laughs> it's really tight. <laughs> so I might see if I can uh, do that with my Velcro straps instead, maybe. Oh yeah, down booties, definitely going. These are so nice. Okay, I need to refresh my water here. So what I do is I just make a little hole here at the top. That might be too tight. I don't think I'm gonna have any airflow. Maybe I'll make another little tiny airflow hole. And this is exactly why I built it this way. is my tap water. And I did not quite use five gallons on my last trip. So there would be no way I could do this if the sink was in the way. Okay, sink. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. Outside anyway. Can you believe it's still over 100 degrees? We are well into October. It's never been this hot here before. It's kind of crazy. It makes you think, what if next summer is hotter? Like this summer broke like 20 records. It's kind of scary. All right, I have my window covers that work uh, marginally well. They stay up. Ah, this is where these were. <laughs> I was looking for these all week. Okay, window covers, window covers, window covers. I got a new coffee maker. I don't know if you'll have seen it yet. Mosquito repellent slash mega flashlight. Uh, I don't know, I don't actually use the mosquito repellent that often, but the flashlight, I can hold up to the window and see what's outside. I'll keep it. Mega scissors, yes, definitely. Titanium spork. Definitely. Little lantern. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Huh? Ah. Huh? I didn't actually use it that much on my last trip. But maybe I will. We'll see. Uh, it, it can come. Fan. No. I thought this was such a multi-use item. Until I actually had to use the fan. Because it's a light as well. It did not do anything. <laughs> I have a better fan. A bigger fan. Uh, but will it fit? I'll make it fit. <laughs> okay, headlamp, yes. Some extra utensils, yes. Knife, yes. Oh, I need some more of these. Just some general uh, food saver thingies. But they're super handy. Like, even if you go on a hike, you can put some chips in here and your sandwich. And multi-tool, I don't know, I guess. I never use this thing, but it can stay. Okay, in my bottom cabinet, I have induction stove and thing I thought was going to make induction stove work metal plate so this doesn't work with my ridge monkey 
But if I put this on it, this gets really hot and it kind of works with the Ridge Monkey. It doesn't work very well. I don't think I'm going to take it. It kind of takes up a lot of room, actually. It's really boxy and no, I'm not going to take it. Shower shoes are totally essential when you're going to a place with a gym and you can take a shower there. But where I'm going, there is no Planet Fitness. So, hmm, I'll pack them just in case. Maybe I'll go to a different gym. Okay, oh, this got all scratched up. So the things that go down in this bottom cabinet are my rice cooker. It's kind of noisy, so I put a little pot holder in there. And my water kettle. Heats up my water for coffee in the morning. And of course, the Ridge Monkey. My favorite cooking thing. And a little measure cup for the rice maker. And my scratched uh, pot holder. Darn it. Okay, I have a little Lucy light. Oh, I don't know, sure, we'll throw it in. So these cabinets under here, I put my clothes and the Gosun solar oven is here. I don't use it that much, but it's so much fun to use. I like to keep it in here. And over here I have a plate. There's kind of this odd shaped uh, cranny here. And that's where my bowl goes. <laughs> that's where my dishware lives. So clothes go here and like cans of beans go down here, other heavy stuff. And food goes up in the top. But other than that, I think we're ready in here. Just all that's left is food and clothes. I'll have to better arrange my fairy lights once I get everything in here. <laughs> okay, one more change I need to make, which is a temporary fix. I have this um, sort of contact paper. I originally got it when I was trying to think up stove solutions. It is water resistant. And I need to put a little layer right here around my sink because this does get some water on it. And hopefully this comes right off because this is not permanent at all. Just something to keep things from getting too wet. I don't even know if this is going to stick. It's not really going to stick. <laughs> Barely. All right, well, that's okay. Because I don't really want it to stick anyway. Good to know that contact paper uh, is not going to be one of the solutions <laughs> for the finish of this. It only needs to serve one purpose for a few days. That is not ideal by far, but it will work. Okay, let me show you how this multi-purpose cleaner works. So first you fill this up to the line with water. Okay, next you plug it in. Third, you put a little pack of this solution in. It's like a vinegar salt solution. This is called force of nature, by the way. It's great stuff. And then you simply push the button and it kind of bubbles up. Okay, that took longer than I thought it did. It took about 10 minutes. But once it's done, then you simply uh, pour it into a spray bottle and it lasts for about two weeks. So that's why you have to make it at home. But like hospitals in Europe use this to sanitize stuff. And there you go. You can spray this on fruit. Uh, you can spray it on your hands. Um, it's just really great to have like an antiseptic, uh, antibacterial, antiviral thing that is non-toxic in the van. I love this stuff. Okay, time to pack the food. So I've got my little uh, drawer over here. First thing that goes in is of course uh, the coffee. For breakfast, I have muesli combined with uh, protein powder and a little bit of granola. That's quite the concoction. I'm going to be taking some quinoa and some buckwheat that I can cook in my rice cooker. I usually have those with beans. 
I also have some uh, refried beans that I'm going to make some like bean dip, some pancake mix, banana bread, a little box of pinto beans, and some ramen noodles. I'm going to bring some pita chips to have with some hummus, but I'm going to take them out of the box. The boxes are so big and you have to deal with the trash. So if you can kind of cut down your trash, that's always helpful. And I'm going to make a pizza. So I have some pizza dough, some tortilla chips. Uh oh, running out of room. My little uh, multi seasoner. Uh oh, need more salt. I'm also going to bring some peanut butter for the pancakes. Okay, the banana bread is going to have to come out of the box. I do want to keep the instructions. I don't know if I'll make these or not, but if I do, I'll make them in the sun oven. Or maybe the Ridge Monkey, I suppose. So some olive oil for the pizza and the... Something else needs olive oil. Oh, the banana bread. Oh, I've got these little treats. These are so good. They're breakfast biscuits, but really they're like little cookies. Oh, you know, this is dark chocolate. Darn, there's dark chocolate hazelnut that is like out of this world. But this will be good too. And I'll bring a loaf of bread. This is pretty full. <laughs> and in a heavy bag that's going to go down underneath, I've got uh, some olives for the pizza, some green chili for an omelet I'm going to make. We'll take uh, two cans of black beans and the pizza sauce. I usually put my soap and my sponge up in the cabinet, but I think it's going to have to go in the sink this time because there ain't no room. Okay, and I think that's about everything except for what I'm going to try to fit in the cooler. And I'm taking my small cooler uh, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, so what am I bringing for clothes? I use these little packing cubes. They work wonderfully. I'm bringing a pair of uh, nicer black pants, a pair of hiking pants, my merino wool t-shirt, a little bit nicer polo shirt, a hiking shirt, and a merino wool long sleeve shirt, some pajamas, some stretchy leggings. So I put all this this way and I can see everything, which is nice. And then socks and underwear go in the sides. And there we go. It's really important to have different layers when you're camping or doing outdoor activities. So this is my cold weather bag. I have a merino wool um, sort of little sweater. And I have this sweater. I have had this sweater for so many years. It's so great. It is mountain hardware. And I think it's just a fleece sweater. But I've had this thing for years and years. And a down jacket. This is Mountain Hardware as well. I love their stuff. I've had this for years also. Gosh, probably 10 years. And a beanie. So if I get really cold, I can put on all that stuff as well as the clothes I'm wearing. And that's what I'm taking. Now for shoes. Guys, my shoe game is so sad because I have a problem with my ankle and there's a ton of shoes that I simply cannot walk in. Like I won't be able to put weight on my foot. <laughs> so I have Luna sandals. I have to have like the most flat closest to barefoot shoe possible. I have my super old moccasins that I made. These were the first pair that I made. They're completely worn out. <laughs> I really need to make a new pair, but they're super comfortable still. So I'll bring these. And these are my fancy moccasins that I made. <laughs> so if I need to wear my black pants, I can wear these and uh, they look a little bit nicer. <laughs> I'll probably wear my super old dusty moccasins right now because they're really comfortable. 
So my three bags of clothes and that's all I've got with me. I also have a little toiletry bag here with all my bathroom stuff. So speaking of shoes, I made a huge order from a company called Freet because I really don't have anything that's waterproof and winterproof. I was hoping for the shoes to arrive for my Santa Fe trip, but no, the package got lost. <laughs> so they had to send me out another package after much delay and it's coming today. Like sometime today, I'm not gonna wait around all day today. So me and shoes, but maybe I'll show you my uh, haul when I get them. I don't expect I'm gonna keep all eight pairs. Maybe I'll keep one pair if I'm lucky because shoes just, I don't know, don't fit my feet. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put my little spray bottle in the door here. And I've got one more thing to put in that I don't think I've ever shown on this channel. I have a Brompton folding bike. I've had this for several years. I know there's a lot coming on the market now, but I think Brompton is still one that folds up this small. It's not electric, but you can add electric components to it. But I... I've been considering doing. I don't use it that much, but there's a great bike trail where I'm going and it fits right here in front of the seat. I do have to put a little cloth here, but not many folding bikes can fit in the front of a car seat. So because that's gonna go in the front seat, I can't have my big cooler. So I have to take my small cooler and I don't know if everything's gonna fit in it. So this is my small cooler and there's really not a ton of room in there. Okay, so we're gonna use some just eggs, plant mozzarella, some hummus, bell pepper, mushrooms. Maybe I'll see if I can fit tofu in here. I wanted to fit some drinks. I love these things so much, but I might have to take a separate little cooler bag for drinks. I almost forgot, I'm gonna make some chickpea salad to take with me. Some vegan -aise. Some apple. Some parsley. And some dill. And some raisins. Okay, some salt, a little bit of pepper. And we'll try some all-purpose seasoning. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, tastes great. Oh, so fresh. That's good. Okay, so this has to fit in the cooler. Is it gonna fit? Yes, it does. Barely. I hope there's nothing else I need in here. The great thing is I can plug it in, even though the car is not running. Okay, everything fits just fine. Okay, I forgot to put in mustard. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Well, I suppose I could put this with my drinks. That's what I'll do. Okay, I have this little cooler bag and my drinks are gonna go in here and the bell pepper. And one more food item. Over here is our garden, of which I cannot take much credit for. <laughs> but there's some wonderful baby bok choy and some baby kale that I'm gonna put on my pizza and my sandwiches. We also have some asparagus over here growing. It won't be ready for another year or two, but it's pretty exciting to have uh, fresh food growing. You save so much money too, because greens are pretty expensive and they go bad quickly. And it's so awesome to just be able to come out and pick them. Okay, now I have some greens to throw in my bag.
And I'll go ahead and throw some protein bars into my bag here. And these ones. Okay, that should be plenty. Okay, drink bag will come up here. Heavy cans go in the bottom. And the box. When this is full, the only bad thing about my build is when this is full, it's pretty heavy and it stays on but this whole thing gets a little top heavy. I kind of think maybe I should have a way to secure it on the top here and keep it from coming forward. It looks pretty good right now though, so maybe it'll be all right. I do have it secured down here with a bolt, but it uh, seems like it maybe might need one more attachment point. Okay, I'm in the home stretch. I've got my pillow, my bike seat, and my bike lock. Put it here for now. And my bike helmet. Uh, <laughs> and my handy dandy little trash bag. I guess I'll hang it from the back. This is an awesome little trash bag. It closes up and keeps all the smells inside. And you can hang it off the back here. And I think it was like less than $10 on Amazon. Yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw on some books that I'm reading. Make sure I've got all my charge cables. Nothing like having battery power and forgetting your charger. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. This is my little backpack I take. It's super lightweight. Uh, I don't know, it's Kiva brand. And I have a water bottle that closes with a top because my normal water bottle doesn't. It has a little straw. And I also have my shampoo and face wash in here because this is usually what I take to the gym or on a hike. So this is gonna go down below here. Can't forget the baby wipes. Very important. And I also have a little hand towel and a bigger towel. And these fold up really small. They're much better than your normal terry cloth towels. And I'll stuff these right in here. I knew there was something wrong if I had space. <laughs> this is my uh, little camp stove and some fuel. And I'm going to bear country. So I'm uh, bringing some bear spray and also some pine saw. Apparently bears hate pine saw. So I usually spray this around my doors at night. Although it didn't work for the mice at all. Hopefully it'll work for bears. The only bad thing about this is sometimes it leaks, especially on um, altitude changes. So I'm gonna stick it in my sink because the whole car starts smelling like pine salt. No bueno. I normally put all my food in these like smell proof bags when I go to bear country, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> So hopefully it'll be okay. And speaking of bears, I will have to uh, make sure my cooler is covered at night and make sure that it can't be seen from the windows at all because bears can recognize coolers. Can you believe it? <laughs> so I usually put my window covers uh, on top of all this or I can put a blanket or something. So this is the rig all packed up. It's amazing how much stuff fits in here and I still don't feel cramped. I think that's everything. Thank you for joining me on this little pack with me video. Hopefully you weren't too bored. Uh, maybe it helped you out a little bit. Click the green circle to subscribe to see where I'm going and I will see you on the next one. If you haven't seen my website, uh, go to minivancampergal.com and you can see everything I use in both the van and the SUV. You can sort by category or you can type it in the search bar or you can just browse. And when you click on a picture, it goes right to the Amazon page so that you can buy it and it helps support the channel. So thanks. Mm -hmm.